Yeah, Hammer Hawk. Tops Hammer Hawk. I don't know if you're going to, maybe if I get out of the view, it's going to focus on it so you can see it. Wait until you see it when I take it off because there's a really cool design right here. I like it. I like it. You know, I have a Native American friend that lives in this area and I got to call him because he's been telling me that he wants to uh, teach me how to throw a tomahawk. And I was like, when he first told me that, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, is that a thing? Really? Is that a thing? But since this is a tomahawk, can I throw it? Can I throw it? Is it going to, is it bad if I throw it? I don't know, but it is not like a hatchet. I'll give you that. Like the weight is totally different. And I, I just, I want to throw it. Can we throw it? I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw it. I think this thing's good enough where it, it's not going to break or anything like that. Like, look at that. Look at that. And it feels so good on the hands, too. Um, the leather's really nice, too. And it is wicked sharp. Like, wicked sharp. Check this out. I'm like, I get a little scared taking it off because it's that sharp. So, look at the design. Isn't that cool? And, and so note now that there are no little chips on it. This has not been used once. And it's extremely sharp here and also there. I hit myself a couple times with that. I was like, ooh, that's sharp. And um, since it does say um, hammer, I'm going to guess that's a hammer in case I need a hammer or something. But isn't that kind of scary when you're hammering? And <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Ma oh, made in the USA. Yes. Let's go play with this thing. Should we use it like a hatchet first? Maybe I use it like a hatchet just to see what it's like just to, to, to chop some wood. And then, and then we'll throw it. And I'm sure there's some sort of um, technique to this. And I don't know it. So let me put it back on my sleeve. Let me go grab a piece of wood. And let's use this tool. Okay. Again, this is really sharp. So let's try this. That is really good. I don't know if you've been seeing me working on my hatchet, but that is better than my hatchets. So I, just like you, watch YouTube channels. And I've been watching, well, I've watched him for a while now. The TA Outdoor one. Um, awesome. Yeah, TA, Totally Awesome Outdoors or something. And, uh, and I always watch him with his hatchets. And he's like carving through wood like no tomorrow. Maybe it's got different wood than me. I mean, I use Aspen here and it's really twisted. But he goes through his wood like it's butter, it looks like, you know. And I've never been able to reproduce that. So... This is pretty good though. It chopped it really well. Really well. It's a little heavier than my hatchet though. So I think it's gonna, it'll hurt my wrist after some time. But um, what's the purpose of a, of a tomahawk compared to a hatchet? Do you know? I know some of you do. I'm really curious. What's the difference between the two? Now I can see the difference. You see it's, it's a lot thinner. It's a lot thinner than my um, hatchet but what's the purpose of having saying one's a tomahawk and one's a hatchet i'm just curious okay let's go find a dead tree to throw this at and see if i can actually hit it it might take a couple tries <laughs> we'll find a dead tree there's a ton of dead aspen around here so let's do that
as you can see, I did practice and now it looks nicely used. Yes, and I will keep practicing. There's definitely a skill to this. I might need to call my Native American friend and see what the skill might be. The cool part is I had thrown a hatchet before and the rotation of the hatchet sometimes will be like really like really wobbly. This is perfectly straight. So like when I go to throw something, it's going perfectly straight and it's the um uh, resolution or uh, what is that word I'm thinking I always forget words when I'm on video and it, the way it rotates around is perfect it's just there's a skill there must be um, I don't have that skill yet you know what I need I need one of my I need a big Viking um, uh, what it was, a Viking shield and then I'll just practice on a Viking shield wouldn't that be fun that'd be so fun I don't know. I like new toys. I like new toys and uh, you know, don't get me something that you don't you don't want me to test out and you don't want me to use because I don't I don't put something on a shelf and let it just sit there. I I use it, you know, so when I'm out here and I'm sitting around I'll be like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go practice my tomahawking <laughs> If that's a word, I don't even know um, but uh, thank you so much for this. Um, it's, it is a lot of fun. It's a pretty good workout. Like I'm sweating pretty hard right now because every time you throw it, you got to go get it. And I found it easier for me to throw uphill than to throw downhill. But uh, And it's not sticking in the wood as much either. But it does stick into a tree better than it does a log in the ground. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. And... Uh, and watch me play with my brand new um, tool. Okay, hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.